Welcome students. Here in this video, we will be starting the problems in the consolidation of the soil. So, we will begin with the first problem. The statement goes as follows. In a lab test on a clay sample of thickness equals to 25 mm, where it is drained at the top, the 50% of the consolidation was occurred in 11 minutes. And the time factor corresponding to 50% of consolidation is given it as 0.197. And the time factor corresponding to 70% of the consolidation is given it as 0 0.405. And last thing in this problem is you have to determine the time required for the corresponding clay layer in the field which, which, which is 3 meter thick and it is drained at both the top and bottom to undergo 50% of the consolidation settlement. And also they have asked the corresponding time required in the field to undergo 70% of the consolidation. So, we will proceed with this problem. To begin with it, we will uh, first of all see the background of the concept. In this background, we have got the clay layer which is of thickness equals to 3 meter in the field and the, at the top and the bottom we have got the sand layer. So drainage is occurring from both the sides like in, in this way and as well as in this way. So it is both way drainage case. Since it is a both way drainage case, the drainage distance that is nothing but the D will become equal to H by 2 because from the center of the clay layer this part will go it will go try to it in the upper part of the sand layer and this part will go and will try to occupy and will try to drain it from the bottom side so therefore the drainage thickness will be will become equal to h by 2 but if it is was the single drainage case then it the drainage distance d will be equal to the total thickness of the clay layer remember so therefore it becomes 1.5 meter and what is done we have taken a small sample of the clay and we are transported that particular sample into a lab and we have done the test called it as a consolidation test and as earlier explained to you from the consolidation test what you are going to have that uh, you will be placing load you will be initially calculating the void ratio of the specimen initial void ratio E0 and you will be plotting the curve of E versus log P or uh, log P dash because it is effective stress and then probably you will get the curve with like this. This particular curve we are more interested in and based on this curve we will be calculating the coefficient of the consolidation that is the CV value by two ways. One is by the Cassegrande. and another by the Taylor's method by square root of the time fitting and Cassegrande is a log of the time fitting method. But as far as this problem is con concerned, we have given that this clay layer is drained from the top only and the thickness is given it as 0.025 meters and this is the clay layer in the lab and the bottom was uh, totally impervious layer and at the top they have placed the porous stones therefore it's a case of the one way drainage or the single drainage so for this case we got the drainage distance d equals to 0.025 meter because water from uh, the bottom most part of the clay will try to go to the up, up side and it is the maximum distance that a water molecule will travel within thickness the d whatever uh, we call it as the drainage distance d so this becomes equal to 0.025 but uh, we also know that the CV which is nothing but the coefficient of the consolidation equals to CV equals to TV d square divided by T but the time T given for the 50% of consolidation we know this particular T50 which is nothing but 11 minutes and also we know D value which is nothing but 0.025 meters so everything we will be placing it in the in terms of the units of meters and the minutes so 
you will get the coefficient of the consolidation value which is equals to and also TV is also given to you for the 50% consolidation equals to 0 0.197 0 0.197 into 0.025 square divided by 11 uh, in, in, in this case also you can convert the uh, minutes into the equivalent uh, second and then you will probably get the value in meter square per second but here we will be getting CV value in meter square per minute you will be getting so remember since you have taken the sample on the field I consider this sample which is a true representative of the field stresses so therefore whatever CV we have calculated for this particular sample in lab will remain equal to same in the field because CV is the property of the soil the CV value will not change during the consolidation process CV value will remain same during the consolidation process that's what we have seen in the uh, derivation of Terzaghi's one dimensional consolidation and uh, therefore uh, you will be getting the same value in the lab and same value you will be getting so these two values are similar or, or I will call it as equal values so uh, you, you will get the value of CV uh, as follows so we need to calculate this particular uh, term so we'll get the value equals to 1.12 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter square per minute you will get okay so once you get to know this particular value in the lab this will remain equal to the same so therefore cv in the field will be equal to the same way tv tv for 50 percent of the consolidation they have asked so tv for uh, again uh, i'll repeat uh, for 50 percent consolidation also and for 70 percent consolidation also they have asked in the problem so tv for 50 percent consolidation is 0 0.197 answer multiplied by uh, d which is nothing but 1.5 square divided by the t which is for the 50 percent consolidation and this also equals to if i take the 70 percent of the degree of consolidation because cv value will not change during the consolidation process so this value cv whatever we have calculated for the lab the same will be re remaining equal to the for the cv value for the field so therefore it becomes equals to 4.405 which is nothing but the tv value for 70% of the consolidation into D which is 1.5 square divided by T90 and we have asked these two values time required for 50% of consolidation and time required for the 90% of the consolidation in the field that's what they have asked so CV value for uh, lab and field will remain same because we have taken the true representative sample from uh, the field so therefore the CV value will be 1.12 into 10 raised to uh, minus 5 pay attention to the units meter square per uh, minute equals to 0.197 into 1.5 square divided by t50 equals to 0 0.405 into 1.5 square divided by t90 you will get so therefore you will get corresponding value of t50 as you will get it as 39,000 600 minute and uh, if, if you convert it in the because one hour is uh, 60 minutes so you need to divide it by 60 minutes we will get it 660 hours and uh, 660 hours uh, if you convert it for day divided by 24 you will get 27.5 days that means uh, nearly one month it will take nearly to consolidate up to 50% of its uh, ultimate settlement and uh, also the T90 value uh, if you take uh, then T90 will become equal to uh, if you calculate this particular value then uh, or, or just you can ca multiply one month by 0 0.405 and divide it by this particular factor because it's just the ratio so you will get equals to uh, 56 days we'll get t90 equal to 
five four days and so nearly it will take a uh, two month to consolidate up to the 90 percent of its value but uh, so so the, that's what they have uh, asked they have asked about the uh, time required to undergo 70 percent of the consolidation value but uh, but in the field they have asked but if in uh, lab uh, it, it could have asked then in lab it is again the same in lab time required to go 90 percent of the consolidation because uh, since from the basic definition the uh, CV value which is equal to TV d square by T T uh, T we know this particular expression which indicates that the TV is directly proportional to the time so therefore TV for the 50 percent of consolidation divided by TV for the 90 percent of the consolidation anything with the time required for 50 percent consolidation divided by time required for 90% of the consolidation and from this we will get the time required for the 90% of the consolidation equal to time required for 50% of consolidation is 11 minute in the laboratory so it is 11 minute into time factor for 90% of the consolidation because uh, if you really uh, want to have the correlation between the time factor and the degree of the co consolidation that is u then uh, we have uh, seen this particular expression that for u less than or equal to 60 percent tv is equal to pi by 4 u square and for u greater than 60 percent we have got the formula for tv equals to 1.781 minus 0 0.9332 into log to the base 10 you need to place it uh, in the percentage over here but you need to place uh, the digit in the first equation this is the second equation so uh, so but for for is they have given just the values but in exam uh, you may have to remember this particular formula which core which correlates between the degree of consolidation and the time factor and uh, so therefore we will go with the particular problem so into t time factor for 90 percent uh, or, or sorry time for the 70 percent of the uh, consolidation not for the 90 over here 70 was asked uh, time factor for the 70 percent of the consolidation is 0 0.405 divided by time factor for 50 percent of consolidation which is 0 0.197 so if you solve it you will get the time required for corresponding time required for 70 percent of the consolidation in the lab so it becomes uh, very easy uh, so this becomes equal to the 22.61 minute this is the time for the 70 percent of consolidation in lab remember and this is for the time for 70 percent of the consolidation in field in field it will take so long period of the time but in lab you can uh, easily do the test and you can easily finish it within a half an hour and so but remember this has got the very very significant role as far as uh, the foundation and uh, other uh, settlement problems are concerned so we'll move with the uh, another problems in the next video thank you